Thanks to some initiatives like One Belt One Road, launched in the recent years, the number of foreign students in China has constantly increased, arriving to 450,000 in 2016. Chinese government is therefore investing millions of yuan to make their living conditions respectable for international standards. But at what price? It seems that Chinese students don't have the same treatment as their foreign counterparts, that their conditions are roughing, and that their government somehow neglect them. Their dormitories are old, the rooms small, their rules are many and strict like limited hot water and electricity, curfew, and much more. To investigate about it, I undertook a journey in two different cities in China, Lanzhou in the west and Beijing in the east. I interviewed 12 students from two colleges, six boys and six girls, six foreigners and six Chinese, and I asked them about their living conditions and daily life and I filmed their dormitories and rooms. How many people are you in the room? Two. One, two, three, four, five. Do you think the space is enough? Yeah, the space is enough for me. No, I have my little table and a chair to study. That's it. Your igui ma? How is it? Igui the space is very small. Um, compared to the home or the elementary school, it's very small. 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 So I feel like the wardrobe is actually a problem because for two people it's not enough. Um, for one wardrobe I think it would be better if we had the double of it for both of us to be able to put our stuff in it in there. Wardrobe is enough because I'm guy so I don't need a lot of space. Um, sometimes it's very noise, but sometimes it's okay. Ni Ivan Dai Sushili Dai Dosha Shidia. Oh, Mishra Shanko, her tree tree fan, Tin Chang Ivan Dai Sushali. I spent, I would say, eighty five percent of my time in my room. Do you have Wi Fi? I do have Wi Fi, that's what is keeping me in my room actually. <laughs> 有啊，我们宿舍有两个WiFi，一个是校园的WiFi，一个是人家中国电信给安的WiFi。你们的宿舍有门禁吗？宿舍有门禁，然后时间是晚上在十一点半的时候就会啊不能在外出或者进入了。
I do have a bathroom. No, <laughs> unfortunately, no. Me, oh. No. <laughs> no. Hey, you can't get a lot of Yeah。没有。那你们要去哪儿洗澡？学校有公用的浴室，需要去公共的浴浴室去洗。你的宿舍你需要付多少钱？我们宿舍住宿费是一年一千五。Each don't pay because I have scholarship. Do you know the conditions of Chinese dormitory? Uh, yeah, I know the conditions because uh, some people explained it to me. Yeah, they are. Mm. Yeah, I heard about it and I saw it sometime when I passed the building. I saw that it looked like they have to stay with the double, how to say, like two level bed. And I'm not sure if they people stay down and up or it's just a table down and the people sleep up. And I know that, for example, this kind of room, they stay for like six people. Why do you think foreigners have such privilege? I think that. It uh, came from Chinese government uh, because Chinese government want to uh, invite more international students in China and uh, get, like to step in the international not politics in like the world will be think about China more better than like before I think uh, but it's a little bit weird why the Chinese give more opportunity to an international student. Mm, I don't think it's a privilege really, but it's something to to respect the international standard. I think that in an effort uh, for China to put out a good image um, of their country, they're really putting the foreigners, the foreign students, um, at a level uh, to which they um, appreciate their experience here in China and also not to strip them too far away from uh, where they come from. Wakanjuba
After this investigation, the result obtained is quite surprising. Also, if there are some Chinese students which conditions are not good and wish to have a better dormitory, some of them live quite fine. But of course, the difference between the two kind of dorms remains significant. It is true that Chinese are so many that it is unthinkable to put them in double rooms. Just think about the number of dorms that should be built. But maybe some little privilege will be, how to say, appreciated. It is not fair that Chinese students should live like this, with limitations and strict rules, almost like soldiers in barracks. As a foreigner, I feel guilty for my life standard if I think about how my Chinese counterparts live, and I'm really happy that they don't have any prejudice towards us and still be willing to be our friends. Finally, I really hope the Chinese government will take this into account. And try to improve its students' conditions. They worth it.